the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Fan Edition. Well, the Galaxy Z Fold Fan Edition, as we're going to call it. And this is now really starting to catch some steam. We talked about this a couple months ago and how is this even possible? Would this work? And after seeing OnePlus Open come out with their phone, obviously you still got the Galaxy Z Fold 5, but then you also got other competitors now, like, for example, this phone right here. Huawei is coming out with their phone sometime soon, going international. So you have all these phones now competing. It's the perfect time for Samsung to come out with a very amazing product. The, the Z Fold Fan Edition. According to leakers and according to sources, they're currently working on this phone. This is not like, a, well, there might be a chance, it, it could happen. This is, no. The tips are also mentioned that Samsung appears to be developing a similar device, although no further details was provided. The same source previously stated in August that the South Korean tech giant is conducting tests on a new device called the Galaxy Z uh, Fan Edition. And if we're being honest here, it makes perfect sense to do this. Because the Z Fold 6 has to be an upgrade, okay? The Z Fold 4 to the Z Fold 5 is an upgrade, somewhat. It has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, more nits of brightness on the inside display. Uh, um, but other than that, it's not really much of an upgrade. So the Z Fold 6 has to be an upgrade. And the reason why is this is not that much of an upgrade was because Samsung didn't have to do it, right? You have, obviously, the OnePlus Open. We didn't know when that was going to launch, when this phone got launched. Also, the Google Pixel Fold, first-gen product, it really wasn't that much competition with this phone right here. But next year, we're probably going to see a OnePlus Open 2 come out around the same time period. We're going to see a Google Pixel 2 probably come out at the same time period. This needs to be upgraded. The Z Fold 6 is going to be the biggest upgrade, in my opinion, of the Z Fold lineup to date. We're going to see the most features added to this phone to try to compete with these other companies that are now, you know, really coming out of nowhere and starting to make a name for themselves. Now, with all that being said, that means that the price tag might also go up for Samsung. If they're adding all these new features, trying to make this the best foldable cell phone possible to try to beat out all the competition, the price tag of manufacturing it is going to go up and the price tag of selling it will also go up. So that's why, kick it in here, you have the Samsung Z Fold Fan Edition. This is a, if you guys have never seen a fan edition of a Samsung phone, pretty much what it is, is you take the best features of that Samsung or whatever the highest line Samsung phone it is, usually like, for example, the Galaxy S23 Ultra. You take the best features from that phone, you put it in a cheap body, so like a um, plastic body, and then you release that. Right, So you don't have all the great features, but you have a lot of the great features. It's in a very, um, a lot easier for them to manufacture and cheaper for them to manufacture. You're not going to get like, you know, the beautiful body like this. You might get a hinge that is not plastic, but a metal hinge that's a little bit bigger than this. You're probably going to get a plastic back, maybe plastic sides, stuff like that, right? You're going to get a cheaper product but it's gonna cost you probably in the neighborhood of $1,200, maybe $1,100, and you're gonna get 90% of what you get out of the Galaxy Z Fold 5. It's just gonna be a cheaper build. And a lot of people, you know, they love that. And I honestly, I love all the Galaxy S um, Fan Edition phones. I think they're great phones. I think they give, you know, they open up a market for people who do, they want the top end phone, but they can't afford it, so they want to get a really good budget option, and it's a really great budget option. Um, as it says right here, though, that he mentioned that the device is expected to be officially unveiled in the first half of 2024. In terms of pricing, it's likely to be priced at $735 or lower, according to the leaker. I don't know if I agree with that. And like I said before, I think $1,100, $1,200 is what we're going to see. It depends on how much the Galaxy Z Fold 6 costs. If the Z Fold 6 is sitting at a price tag of $2,200, $2,300, then yes, I believe there will be 
it will be probably 13, 12, 11, 12, 1300 dollars. If it, if the Z Fold 6 is sitting at 1800 dollars, then this will probably be less than a thousand dollars. It will probably be, as a leaker suggests, I would say anywhere from 800 to a thousand dollars in that ballpark range. Because now that puts Samsung in a boat where, you know, they can compete with flippable cell phones, Huawei, Google, Google Pi comes out of football with cell phone, obviously OnePlus, you know, etc. They kind of get that nice little sweet spot where they can compete with all these companies by just going ahead and having, you know, a foldable cell phone for that cheap. Right now, the only foldable cell phone for this cheap is, I think there's one on Amazon for around $1,000. But the problem with that phone is you can't activate it in the United States. You can only activate it in India. You need an India, um, or Indian uh, SIM card in order to use it. So... There is stipulations there. So this would be the first foldable cell phone of any kind that has actual, you know, really cool stuff in it that would, you know, be affordable. Now, most likely with a fan edition. So, for example, this is Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 in this. The Z Fold 6 is going to have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. But with that being said, this bad boy, the fan edition version of this, is going to have Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. So... You can see the dilemma here and how they're going to make it $735. You're going to probably come out with, again, 12 gigabytes of RAM. Exactly what you have in this. You're going to have, you know, a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, which is two generations old. You're going to have a plastic body, not, you know, like this body right here. There's probably going to be no wireless charging on this. That's going to be, a, a you know, a thing you're sacrificing. It might not have waterproofness. It might not have IPX8. It might not have an IP rating at all. Stuff they were going to be sacrificing. And in the end, what you're getting is, again, a foldable cell phone for $700, let's say $800 to $1,000. And while, yes, you might say, well, that's bullcrap. I want those features. Then you pick up the better version. But for those who are just trying to get in this market and want to try out a foldable phone and want to use it, $800 to $1,000 is an affordable price for the average consumer. 1800 is ridiculous. So this would put Samsung in that kind of boat of, you know, hey, this is not that bad. And it's going to be interesting, right? Because I feel like this will split some of their customer base who do pick up the Galaxy Z Fold device every single year and want the best Galaxy Z Fold device. Because if you pick up, let's say, for example, a fan edition and it's actually pretty good and you like it, then you might be like, oh, I don't know. If I really want to pick up a, you know, a Z Fold 6. I Again, it depends on price tag. But definitely tell me down below your thoughts, opinions on everything. Will you be picking up a Z Fold 6? Would you pick up Fan Edition if it does become available? You know, all you know in this channel, we're going to be picking up and taking a look at it. Give my thoughts and opinions. Peace out.